Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to the week of February 10th, February 2020. We are here. We are officially in it, my friends. And this week is nothing short of cosmic fun up there in the sky. Lots of things are happening. We are certainly going to be feeling the intensity of some things, especially around Valentine's Day, as the moon is traveling on Valentine's Day through the energy of Scorpio and making different connections there. But Scorpio feels everything very intensely, whether it's jealousy and passion or it's love and it's abundance, whatever it is. This is a week where I do think, especially around even the idea, the concept, the collective energy, energy generated about Valentine's Day. We could be feeling things very intensely. As well, we have got Mercury turning into its retrograde this week, and then we have also got Mars entering into the energy of Capricorn, where he is happy to be up there. Let me tell you what, Mars is like, yes, we're going to get some things done, and Capricorn, they just, they have a high five when Mars comes into Capricorn. So, still a productive week for us, but let's jump in and talk about what this is going to look like. First and foremost, most Valentine's Day. It's Friday, February 14th, and I will tell you, Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. I do love this day, not because of um, anything historic that it means. This, for me, I just love because I love me some flowers. I love chocolates. I love to give them to people just in that that energy of here. Just I just want you to have something beautiful, right? So keep that in mind as you're traveling through Valentine's Day. If you're like, I'm so single, it hurts. If you're like, my relationship is weird. This is not always about romance. Valentine's Day was a day. It's about a guy who, who self-sacrificed, right? That's the energy we're to carry forward. Where do you have time this week where you just want to give to someone to bring them a little bit of life, to speak to their spirit, right? Where do you want to take that action or that gesture or give that love to allow it to speak back to you as well? Like I said, the moon is traveling through the energy of Scorpio. It's going to make different connections and all of these connections as quickly moving as the moon goes, right, will stimulate us into something that inspires and invigorates us. If Valentine's Day happens to be a day for you where you're feeling something intensely and you need to cry. Tears are just liquid prayers, my friends. It's just a liquid version of saying, I surrender and I'm willing to ask for some help. Heal me. Whatever Valentine's Day needs to be about for you, I'm sending you some cyber flowers and I'm sending you lots of Stormy Grace love because I do happen to love this day. Now, as we continue to travel into our week, we're going to actually get to the end of the week before we have these big, big movements that I want to bring your attention to. So first is going to be on February 16th, we've got the energy of Mars moving into Capricorn. Now, Mars is our energy that is action, energy, assertion, doing stuff, boots on the ground level So movement. as Mars gets here into this energy, Energy of Capricorn, this is an energy where Capricorn with its structure and its boundaries, instead of feeling restrictive and constrictive here, it's actually a beautiful focus for all of the movement and energy that Mars brings to the table. So it's like it, it almost gives Mars like a pathway. It says, yes, take all that fire, take all of that assertion, and let's move this way so that we can achieve. So this is a green light for projects kind and of energy. Though this is a week where Mercury is going to retrograde. Mars and Capricorn does still have that green light. So if something needs Needs to be begun in this area of your chart, this is the time, the place to be able to move that because not only are you going to begin it and get it going because this is also a fair amount of cardinal energy. Yes, let's start something. Yes, let's get something going. But Mars is also going to move it so that the project will be moved along or it will come into contact with needing to reassign people their responsibilities, their duties, or you taking on responsibility for what needs to get done. The other thing I think of with this particular energy up on your table and available to you is how much of your life is absolutely running you as opposed to you running your life. This is an opportunity for you to swap in this particular area of your chart and say, am I the one in the driver's seat, right? Or is life just dragging me around, right? Because sometimes what that's a sign of is an overcrowded plate. We've got too much going on. Where do we need to take something off of the plate so that you're back in the driver's seat? The other thing could be an issue of faith. And when I say that, what I mean is 
Are you kind of walking blindly out in the world and you don't have anything to guide you? You don't feel anything you can harness into and connect to? This could be a time where this Mars and Capricorn says, hey, we have some duties and some responsibilities. We need to get a practice. We need to get a structure around here because we feel like we're being run ragged. So if it happens to go that direction for you, this is also an energy to help you with that as well. Furthermore, we get just the next day, depending on where you are in the world. We're going to also get the energy of Mercury stepping into its retrograde the 16th 17th just depending on where you are now mercury is going to retrograde in the energy of pisces okay so this particular retrograde energy as mercury is flipped around anytime we have a retrograde the idea is the planet, instead of, you know, bopping along in its normal orbit going forward, giving us just the full blessings, the retrograde takes us backwards, takes us inward. We're in a time of review. And the energy of Pisces this is a wonderful energy to review faith. It is a wonderful energy to review where maybe you're bogged down by disbelief, shame, guilt, blame. Um, it is not a time with Mercury retrograde in Pisces. He's already quite uncomfortable and not able to be as logical as he would like to be. So in a retrograde, he is not only in that watery energy, but then flipped around backwards. So you're not going to just necessarily be able to just logic yourself through everything that's going on here. But instead, over this next three weeks of the retrograde, what he's maybe going to help you do so where you're also going to get a little bit of help with that this week is the 16th, 17th, depending on where you're at in the world, is that Mercury is going to go retrograde. Now, whenever a planet goes retrograde, instead of bopping along in its forward motion, giving us all the blessings, right, it is now instead thought to be moving backwards and moving inwards. So we're going to be reviewing something. We're going back over. Mercury in Pisces is not a logical um set of information. Mercury can't be as logical in the energy of Pisces, right? So instead, it's a very intuitive, it's a very in-between the worlds, a very faithful kind of energy. And then you add to that that Mercury is not only like that, just in general being in Pisces, but then he's flipped around and he's in a retrograde. This is a place where one of the things you can go back and discover what maybe you lost is, did you lose faith? Did you lose belief? Did you lose spiritual connection somewhere along the road? And that doesn't mean you're spiritually dead inside. What it means is where do you maybe need to ground down and reconnect, right? Maybe where do you need something to be that guiding force or that guiding pull for you moving forward? Now, I always find things that I have lost during a Mercury retrograde. And sometimes the things that I have lost, I lost them on purpose. <laughs> so sometimes those things come back because... Even if you thought you were done with something, if you guys are not done, if it's a person, if it's a place or a thing, it's going to come back so that you can bring it to culmination. Other things that can definitely happen during a Mercury retrograde is misunderstandings, right? Because this is our planet of communication and he's flipped around and he's in Pisces right now. So maybe a misunderstanding comes up or maybe something was a misunderstanding from the past and you're able to get a little bit more clarity on it now. Communication devices, weeks before a Mercury retrograde, Sometimes those phones, our phones, our computers, anything that has to do with communication equipment, these things can start to be um, a little bit sketchy. Cars, anything that has to do with transportation, we can have a little bit of what seems like a breakdown or a setback in them. So just be mindful. The thing I always want to remind people during a Mercury retrograde is, first of all, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. So we feel its effects in Intensely, right? Everybody is a part of it. Nobody is exempt from a Mercury retrograde. So everybody's flipped a little bit backwards here at this particular time. And again, Mercury is in Pisces. So information is maybe not as clear as it typically would be. So try and have a little grace with yourselves and others. Remember, we're all trying to walk forward, but we're looking backwards. That's a perfect place to run into each other. So keep in mind that any information that you gather, you acquire this week, try and go over the details, try and get another set of eyes on it to help you see exactly what is going on. But also, any place that you have been trying to um, avoid responsibility, escape in some way, shape, or form, Mercury Retrograde is going to highlight these things and ask you to address them as well. Any place that you need to go back over where... Um, 
maybe there was shame or there was blame. This will be a time that you can free yourself from that as well because Mercury, even retrograde in Pisces, is beautiful for release of things from the past that have been bogging us down, right? Because what happens is as we travel forward, things look really, really good and then we have to stop and look back and say, oh, I've been tethered into this idea from the past and it's okay for me to be free from that. It's okay for me to surrender and transition that out into something else. So that could be something you'll definitely see during this retrograde. Now the retrograde is over March 9th, 10th, just depending on where you are in the world. So I do think that it is a wonderful week for romance and giving in whichever way those forms show up for you. It is also a great week to get some things done, move yourself forward, and it is a great week to use this mercury energy to free yourself or to look back over what has been lost that can be regained in terms of spiritual, emotional freedom as we come to the end of this retrograde. So it's still, all of those things bring me to the conclusion that this is a great week for responsibility. Does make it any less emotional, especially with that moon in Scorpio and this retrograde happening in Pisces. So keep me posted on what's happening and, and transitioning out for you this week. I would love to hear what are you shedding, what's coming down, or what's coming to your clarity this week, okay? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, everyone.